What's going on there guys? The Earth Master here along with Missy Mimi's. Uh, we are down here along the San Andreas Fault right here on the Parkfield section. Uh, Parkfield just sits uh, to the north of me just a little short distance. Uh, we're right smack dab on the fault zone. Again the Parkfield section and uh, this bridge right here. I'm sure a lot of folks, geologists, uh, enthusiasts have seen this bridge and many photos throughout the magazines and stuff like that. Well, we decided to come on down here and uh, take a look for ourselves. This here is where the uh, North American and the Pacific Plate meet. Uh, over here, we're entering into the uh, Pacific Plate. North American Plate, of course, is behind me or with on this, within this side. Notice the bridge here. Uh, there's quite the angle Kind of like a warping of the bridge and that would make sense right with the displacement here of the plates same for this side right about the middle and over here right at the plate boundary we have kind of an oasis of water kicking up out here Right now there's not a whole lot of traffic down here. It's kind of a kind of a a little quiet road to get here. Not a whole lot going on. But yeah, within here we have uh some water coming up. I'm not for sure if there's a spring or what's going on here. But there's uh definitely some water coming down here through this fault system. Hoping to maybe feel an earthquake or two. Uh, this specific fault here, the Parkfield section, hasn't seen a uh, large earthquake since about 2004, uh, the last six pointer. And the regular occurrence, reoccurrence intervals range from about 18 to 35 years, but on average, about 22 years. So 2004, 2022, what are we looking at about coming up on 18 years right now so a six pointer will definitely be uh, due here pretty soon along this segment of the san andreas fault the park field section check out this sign right here entering into the north american plate here of course north american plate moving towards the southeast uh general motion pacific plate moving off towards the northwest and of course these two plate boundaries here gliding past each other building up strain we got uh, deformation of the land over here to the west and uh, also to the east here which is uh looking towards the north american plate here right right about where uh, missy mimi's is you can kind of see the crook here as well. That uh, is due to the uh, slip rate out here, or the uh, offset, so to speak, so to speak, here on the um, the fault system itself. Kind of trying to find. I was hoping I could see some, uh, maybe some rock displacement around here, but uh, I don't know. I haven't really seen any yet. Just the uh, little offset here on the bridge. But anyway, just come on down here. We're coming down to uh, just investigate some stuff here. Take a look at a couple different fault features. I was hoping to go live for you guys, but uh, there's no service here. Here around Parkfield, California. So figured I would do a video and show you guys the San Andreas Fault right here. Too bad I couldn't get way over there on that uh, on that property. Look at some of those uh, rocks over there. Some of those sedimentary layers. I think it'd be pretty cool, but I believe that's private property over there, so I don't want to do any trespassing. All right, guys. Have a good day. Uh, we may go live a little bit later here if we find something a little bit more interesting. Of course, we'll be uh, providing an update here pretty soon. 
with the ongoing earthquake activity across the globe and uh, Cascadia is having quite a bit of activity as well. What do we got? Right along the edge down here, um, you can see some rock formations right where it cuts off to the mm -hmm. North American plate there underneath the bridge. Yeah, I see that. Pretty cool. Alrighty. Take care, guys. Say bye, Missy Beamies.